Hi, Gary here, Mr. G Shave. Um, this is shave number 21. Face shave that is, not head shave. Head shave was yesterday. As I said yesterday, um, I'm celebrating uh, 100 subscribers. I think I'm up to 105 now. I had another subscriber today, or I think it was today. So I just want to give them a shout out. Um, 100th subscriber was either Ross Giles from Giles Shaving Company, who, who are the people that made my shaving bowl, um, or Prophet Peter. I can't decide which one it is, because they both hit the subscribe button at the same time. So, so those two, it could even be a guy called John Peplow, but not sure. Um, but since then I've had, uh, so as I said, John Peplow, Jason W, thanks for subscribing, Tyler McDonald, Jayaraman Venkataswami, Venkataswami, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, and then today it was Wade Schreffler. Is that a German name by any chance? Are you from Germany? Um, anyway. Thanks for subscribing. Um, I've been talking to my son about trying to get on, on here and uh, and do a wet shave with me, and he's promised he will when I get to a thousand subscribers. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be a wait. I think he might be uh, thirty years of age by then. He's only nineteen now. So um, right. I also said as a, as a little celebration, I'm going to have a beer. Augustina Brau Helles, which is a, a lager. Um, I believe it's 5.5, let's have a look. 5.2%. So, Augustina Brau München. Uh, and I used to live in Munich, I used to drink this along with Paulana, which was another favourite of mine and a Bavarian favourite. Not a lot of them like Lohenbrau or Löwenbräu, as they said over there. So. Um, Time to open the uh, the bottle. That didn't really pop, but it's in there. Don't know whether you can see the. But there you go. Right. So cheers to everybody. Thanks for all your subscriptions and all your support and all your comments. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you'll have a beer with me. Um, I shall enjoy this. Here goes. Very nice. Right, on with the shave. <laughs> so I'm gonna enjoy that beer this afternoon. Father's Day tomorrow, I've just had a barbecue delivered, which I've contributed to. It's, it's like a smoker barbecue. Cosmo Grill XL, I think it's called. It's got a chimney on it and stuff, so you can smoke stuff. But it's not like your standard smoker. It hasn't got the wood compartment on the side. It's just a big square barbecue with a chimney on it um, so I've got to work out how it all works and stuff but anyway so let's wet the face and go through the products that I'm going to use today so this is 14 days of growth 14 days so I'm going to be using the only choice possible really the Moore R41 um, I think that's probably the best choice um, <clears throat> brush wise I'm going to be using the evil zebra because it's going to need to be able to get through this uh, two weeks worth of growth growth it's almost blending in with my goatee um, hardware wise uh, sorry bowl wise Giles shaving co fantastic bowl this love it Absolutely love it. The best shaving bowl I've got. Uh, I've got a captain's choice, which is really good bowl as well. I, I might do a top five shaving bowls. Or I've, in fact, I've probably only got five shaving bowls, but I, I, I might do a, a, a video about the shaving bowls that I've got. I've uh, mainly cheap. Um, I've got the Sapon Saponificio Varashino 
shaving grail. Uh, I've got a Christmas pudding bowl, which is plastic, which, are, which is a free bowl after Christmas. I bought another bowl from Amazon, which is plastic and very cheap. Um, and then I've got the captain's choice and I've got this bowl, but this is the best bowl I've got. Right, so pre-shave, I'm using, oh, I've got to put my glasses on for this. Do Mr. Macy's shaving oil, cedar wood and lime. So that's going to go quite well, I think, with uh, the soap. And then cream I'm using, St. James of London, cedar wood and clarisage. So I hope that is in focus. Post or the witch hazel, I'm going back to my boots. Boots, tea tree and witch hazel. And then I'm, as an aftershave, I'm gonna use this Bart's. It's more of an oil. This is, it's, I don't think it's got any alcohol in it. Um, natural ingredients, aftershave lotion, amber and Moroccan jasmine. Um, so that's more of an oil, I think. Uh, and then following that as a balm, I'm using the same scented balm to go with it. So Moroccan, sorry, amber and Moroccan jasmine. So I just, you know, so that's gonna be what I'm using today. I'm gonna to get everything ready. I'll get the lather, do lather done ready uh, and then I'll be back. Right, I'm back. So I've done all the lathering. I've got the pre-shave on. I'm just going to wet my face again. The pre-shave oil, shaving oil uh, by Mr. Macy's um, Cedar Wooden lime I think it was I haven't got my glasses on really lovely scent <clears throat> I would say scent strength on that oil alone was a good four lovely lovely scent um, St James of London um, the cedar wood and clary sage beautiful scent again I would say this is scent strength about um, whoa. I would say it's going on five not quite five maybe um, so it's it's not overpowering, but it's a beautiful, warm cedar wood and clary sage. You can really smell it. It's lovely, <clears throat> really good scent. So let's go with that. Let's... So I hope everybody's had a good week, and uh, it seems. In most countries now, the uh, COVID-19 situation is easing, um, as it is in this country. We've just had the alert level lowered in this country to level three from, I think it goes from one to five. Um, we were at four. We're now at three. Um, so I think we'll probably have reduced distances, distancing, so where it was two metres I think it's going to be probably one and a half to two meters, uh, to one meter, sorry, distance. But to be honest, I think the general public have, you know, I think we're all quite wary of it. And I think a lot of people will maintain their distance, certainly those that are at risk. I'm, <coughs> as I've said before, I'm in a high risk group. So, I should be shielding um, because of my asthma. Um, I need some more hot water in that. So I don't know what that means for me. Uh, I am allowed out, but to be quite honest, you know, I, I have been out once or twice, but I've been very cautious where I've been going. Um, I certainly haven't been out in the last week because I've been uh, pretty much laid up in bed. But um, yeah, sorry about last week missing the face shave. My back went into spasm and there was no way I could stand up to do a shave. So hence, I've now got 14 days growth. So here we go. This is the Bula 41. Let's see how it handles 14 days. I don't think it'll be a problem at all.
I think this is the only the third time I've used this. You can really feel the blade on this. Very aggressive razor. It's certainly not a beginner razor. The main thing to remember with this is do not apply pressure at all. And this is just cutting straight through 14 days. I don't know whether you can see the the beard hairs in there now. But there's a lot of them. And it's not clogging at all. So you imagine trying to do that with a cartridge razor. No chance. I have been looking forward to this shave for two weeks. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... Uh, been itchy, shall we say. Um, the blade that's in here is an Astra Green. It's on its third and final use. So uh, I thought I'd go with a one that's just, you know, a, a bit milder after being, you know, on its third use. Second use I find is really good. It's, it's when a blade is at its peak. On the third use, you could argue it's still at its peak, but after that you wouldn't really want to use it again. Certainly after shaving, you know, 14 days of growth off. But look at the difference. I mean, that's cut straight through that. No problem. So, so yeah, in terms of the COVID situation, we'll see what, what it, you know, what it means for me, but I, regardless of what they say about those that are shielding, um, I'm still going to be hyper cautious as I think anybody that's shielding is anybody who's older, anybody who's got a, a you know, a, a background illness that that COVID would take advantage of and you know remove you from this planet. Um, anybody who's shielding is going to be hyper cautious, as I will be. I'm only going to you know it doesn't matter what they say. It's you know until there's actually a vaccine out there, I'm going to be cautious. I'm not saying I'm not going to go out at all. Um, but, uh, you know, if I do go out, I'm going to be wearing a mask. I'm going to be, you know, very careful about where I go, how many, you know, if there's a lot of people there, I ain't going to go there. Unless it's my local drinking establishment. <laughs> no, I, I, I will be very careful. I, I, you know, when it opens, I'd like to go down, but we'll have to wait and see because I think it's going to be rather popular when it first opens. This is great. Amazing, amazing, love it. Use my facial brush. The scent on this soap is stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's the only St. James soap I've got, and I have, I've had it for quite a long time. Um, but it's a really good, really slick soap. Very much along the lines of Taylor of Old Bond Street. Um, and there are D.R. Harrison's son. They're all very similar soaps. And the scents, oh, 
I mean, on the face now, I would say this sense strength on this is probably easily a five, approaching a six. It's beautiful, and I like a stronger scent. I don't like these mild ones that are there in the background. I like it to come up and punch you in the face if you, if I can get it, you know. Because um, I just enjoy the whole experience. Um, so right, I'm going to go across the grain. Now if you remember correctly, this side I've got to go straight up. Because for me the hair sort of grows across like that uh, on this side. And then this side is standard up and down. So I'll be going across the grain that way and across the grain that way on this side. So here we go. Get the rose in the right place. You've got to be very careful. This is a very aggressive razor. I mean, if I'd thought about it, I could have used my, my vintage Gillette and changed the settings or my new uh, uh, Merca Progress to do this, but I wanted to give the Merca R41 a go again. And as long as you are very careful and treat it with the respect that it demands, you should be okay. But it will bite you if you take it for granted. All right. Across the grain this side. Um, as I said before, no pressure, just rest it against your face and let the head and the weight of the head do the work for you. So yeah, 100 subscribers. I've had the email from uh, YouTube already congratulating me. Um, I'm not 100% certain what that means, hitting that 100 subscriber mark, but it was a bit of a milestone for me. I think it makes a bit of a difference in terms of their logarithms, but I don't really get the logarithms at all. I'm not bothered about that, as long as people get enjoyment from my video and videos um, you know I'm uh, I'm happy with that I'm not here to make money out of my videos I'm not here to get people to send me free stuff um, you know I've bought all the stuff that I use um, I'm not big enough to get stuff sent to me and if I, if I do get stuff sent to me that'll be great um, but I will probably pass that stuff along. Um, you know, I, don't, I have no intention of keeping it. If I do want to keep it, I'll still pass the particular item along that's been sent to me and then I'll buy my own. So, I, I don't want to be beholden to anybody to give them a good review because they've sent me the item for free. Because that's sort of bribery. So, and I'm very much with Chris on that. Uh, Chris from IMCDB, you know, he, he, he will take free stuff, but he will only take free stuff on condition that he can be completely honest um, about his about the review of the product. So, right, we're going against the grain. So this, this side is across. being super careful because against the grain with this you have to be
If you can hear something in the background, I think it's raining outside. <coughs> so. Now I am expecting a few weepers with this. I don't think I've ever managed to do a shave without one. So we'll see. Maybe this will be the first. Mind you, as I said earlier, I think I've only used this about three times. So I'm not an experienced Moolah R41 user. Going to ride the cap on this side. So, third pass. Just doing the pickups now. I've uh, dropped some water in the bowl again. So this is going to be a bit thin now, but never mind. Right, let's. Uh, Some water on. This is too thin. I've just turned the tap on and it just went straight into my bowl so that's why my soap's just gone very thin indeed. So that's my fault. I don't think there's going to be a lot to pick up if I'm fair, if I'm honest. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to do the pickup with the Gillette King C. It's the mildest one I've got, and there is a blade in there from last time. <clears throat> so let's just feel it. Usual spots. I don't want to risk it too much with the R41, that's, it will really punish you. Right, got that. A little bit there. Right, this side. Surprisingly quite a lot. It's the it's this bit. My hair always grows in weird directions on the corner of my jaw. So I've always got to pick up there. And that's me. That's the uh, pickup pass done. And BBS. Oh, lovely. Right, I'm just going to clean up and I'll be right back. So I'm back. Um, just uh, washed off with warm. Going with cold, I have got a few little, they're only you know, minor. They'll, they'll, with this cold water they'll stop uh, but I'm going to go over with the alum anyway I think Jim will say Shaves was asked the question why do you always use alum um, and he's got his reasons I've just got used to using alum since I began shaving 
and I miss it if I don't use it, you know, but I do wash it off. But I use, also use it as a tool to show me where I've probably gone a bit too close, which on this shave is in a lot of places. It's burning really nicely. Uh, but you expect that with a, a razor like the R41, it's gonna burn. Uh, it doesn't matter how careful you are. Well, I suppose if you've got skin of iron or tough as boots, um, you might not experience a burn, but I've, again, I've only used it a few times, but um, I've got other aggressive razors and I always get a burn with those. So I, I wouldn't have expected the beast, the Moolah 41 to be any different. In fact, I expected it to be worse. But yeah, really pleased with that shave, really enjoyable shave. Um, let's have another beer, another bit of beer. Cheers everyone, thanks for all your subscribers and anybody who hasn't subscribed, Please join the party and I'll see if I can get my son in front of the lens in a, in a, by a thousand subscribers. But yeah, thank you very much. Let's have another swing. Oh. That beer, lovely flavour. For a lager, it's got so much flavour, that's the thing I miss about the lagers in this country, you know, you, you can get some good craft beers in this country, some really good craft beers, but that's a standard beer in, in Munich anyway. Um, lovely flavour. I guess the, the closest you could get to that, I suppose, would be Carlsberg in terms of flavour, but this is a far better flavour than Carlsberg. Um, that's a UK lager. So, right, let's wash this off. And as I suspected, the little nicks that I got have stopped. Right. So, on with the witch hazel. that as well. I enjoyed my head shave yesterday, very good. Had a few comments. Samuel's been back on there again, commenting. I appreciate that Samuel. Um, so I'm going to let this dry in a little bit because the next bit is not my normal aftershave. This is an oil oil based aftershave I think. Um, but it's very good, I have to say, very good. That's, that's dry enough. So I'm gonna put this couple of squirts, that's all I need. Oh, that's, there's a, oh yeah, beautiful. You can definitely smell the jasmine. There's citrus in this. Uh, I do like, this goes really well with the cedar wood. I do like the scent on this. I'm going to put a bit more on my head, I think. Just have one more squirt for my head. Right. And then straight on, a couple of squirts of the aftershave balm. I mean, it is an oil. You can see how shiny my hands are. That's not water, that's an oily sh sheen. So. Go with that. Oh, beautiful. And that just finishes off the shave. I will be adding the Nivea. I haven't brought it down. I meant to bring it down for this shave. But that's basically me. Thank you everybody for getting me to 100 subscribers. Let's look forward to the next 100 and the next 100 after that and so on and so forth. So. Um, and I've just noticed my light has finally given up the ghost. It's run out of battery, just on time. But yeah, thanks very much. Cheers, everybody. 
I hope you have a good weekend and uh, I'll see you again. It's uh, goodbye from me and I've actually taken the razor apart. So let me just quickly put it back together. And it's goodbye from the Moolah 41. It's a beast of a shave. Bye bye for now.